we got to talk about the cousin thing. And you're right. Um, Eleanor and Franklin Roosevelt were technically cousins, but it's actually a lot more complicated than that. It's like, it's actually like not as gross as you think in one way and then weirder than you think in another way. So I'm not coming on here to like defend marrying your cousin, but I do just want to add some complexity to the conversation. So first off, they were fifth cousins once removed which is very distant. Me, like literally DNA wise, they share as much DNA as like me and some stranger on the street. So as far as biologically, it was not weird that they got married. This is not marrying your first cousin, second cousin, whatever, right? I mean, this is so distant. You have tons of fifth cousins once removed that you don't even know you could be dating them right now and you have no idea. Now, what is a little bit more complex and potentially weird about their relationship is that they knew they were part of the same family tree, right? So yes, they're distant, distant cousins, but they were both Roosevelt's, right? They were both part of this esteemed Roosevelt family tree. Um, they were part of like two very distant branches, but they knew each other, right? So biologically, it's not weird, but emotionally, is that kind of weird? Like, for example, they would see each other. They would kind of spend summers together at big family gatherings, or sometimes they would see each other at Uncle Teddy's house, right? Um... Teddy Roosevelt really, he was the uncle of Eleanor and then was a kind of distant cousin of Franklin, but was very involved in both of their lives. So again, the question is emotionally, was this strange? Like were these two kids that grew up as family and then ended up getting married? I, from what I've learned about Eleanor and Franklin, which is a decent amount, I don't actually view it that way. I view it as two people who grew up together as like childhood close friends or people who knew each other since childhood and then developed a really strong bond and relationship over time. Um, I don't think that their relationship was that romantic at all to begin with. We know a lot now about the personal lives of Franklin and Eleanor to know that they had other, they had other people in their lives that were maybe serving that role. That this marriage seemed to be, yes, a political marriage, but also like a deeply maybe, maybe platonic love for each other's minds. Like we know that when Franklin was off at college, he was like writing letters to Eleanor and sending her books that he was reading at college. I mean, like, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Like Eleanor was taking him to the tenements where she was volunteering in New York City being like, this is how poor people are living. Like we need to do something about this. They seem to genuinely like see themselves as this kind of political partnership. And it was based on, yeah, this long relationship of knowing of each other since children and having this connection, both being closely connected to former President Teddy Roosevelt. So again, is it weird? I don't know. We can really only ask them, but I do just want to clarify that it's not biologically strange. Do with that information what you will. 